Hello and welcome to the second episode of an introduction to Bottle, the Python micro web framework. If you haven't watched the first episode, please do. It is really important and I would really appreciate it if you also like this video, press the like button, share it or leave a comment down below. It helps the channel grow. Thank you. So in the first episode, I talked about how to install Bottle and how to import run to run a server route to specify a route and also templates. So uh, Bottle uses a built-in template engine called the Simple Template Engine. I'm going to talk about how to reuse code or how to avoid repeating your code by using include and base now. So let's say I have two template files here. I have like staff and I have articles. Let's see what they are first. And in my main.py, I have specified a route to staff, which is going to return staff, and also a route to articles, which is going to return articles, the template. And Bottle looks for these templates inside a views folder, and I have them as article.tpl extension. You don't need to specify it here, and also staff. So now I'm gonna go back here, and let me just refresh, and you can see I have this. There's a table and there's a footer. The same thing for articles. I have articles page and all this information. Nothing special so far. Now, if we look at the code, you see there's a lot of repetition here. We have all this HTML boilerplate up to this part here. Let me put it down, up to the body. And you can see it's the same right here. Exactly the same except this title. And if that, we go down below, we see again, this part is similar. We have the footer up to HTML tag. Imagine if we also had a nav navigation bar or a menu, it would be the same on all these pages. What if we had 100 pages? Would we need to repeat and copy all this code on all of them? Well, no. That's why we are going to use one template as a base, which includes this code and this code. And then we refer to that. So let me show you what I mean. If I go to uh, the views folder and I'm gonna create a file, I'm gonna call it base.tpl for template. And since the PyCharm doesn't recognize it, I'm gonna just say, okay, HTML. Now, let me open it here. So I'm going to copy whatever is repeated up and down. That is from body upwards, like here. I'm going to cut this and put it right here. And also down below from this section all the way down, I'm going to cut this as well and put it down here. And let's get rid of this inside staff because we don't need it anymore all this way. So now the upper part and the lower part are inside base. What about the middle part is going to be populated by this file or this file or hundreds of other pages. So I'm going to say include what well, inside double curly braces. If you remember from the first episode, what is not base is going to come here. What is not base? That is, this is base, right? This is base. So whatever is not base is going there. And what is not base? Well, this is not base. This is not base. So this will be put in here now. I'm gonna save this control S, go here. And up there, I'm going to make a reference to this base file. So how, again, if you remember, we use percentage sign to introduce that this is going to be Python code. I'm gonna say prebase, this is a function, and it's gonna take base.tpl as its argument. Now, this is going to be our base. Now we know this is going to be our base and we are going to insert this right here. When someone goes to staff, this will be what happens when someone goes to articles, articles would come here. So now there is only one issue and I'm gonna, uh, let's also import it here inside articles as well. I'm just gonna copy it and paste it here. And now 
articles has also access to that. So let's go back and refresh and you see the same is happening. The same is happening, but look at this staff here and staff here. What is this title? Why is it all staff? So when I go back to base, I see the title of base is staff. And of course, the titles of all other pages will be the same. I'm gonna make it dynamic by putting it inside curly braces and a variable called title. So I'm gonna say whatever the user passes here as title would put it be put here. So I can put another argument, I can, I can say title is going to be equal to staff for this page and it's going to be title is going to be equal to article for this page. Now I'm going to save it and go back again and refresh this and you see now it's changed to articles and this well was a staff and is a staff still. So that is what we can do using base. It's kind of like inheriting the features from another file. That is one way to do this if you want to surround your content with something fixed, like you have a header, navigation bar, and you have some footer down below, then do this. Now, if you want to reuse certain sections, we use something called include. If you're familiar with like PHP, for example, you know that it exists also in PHP, like include, require, things like that. In some other, in, uh, yeah, other program languages or even templating language, in template engines, this exists as well. Now we are going to use that. I'm gonna create another template and call it header.tpl. And I'm gonna set it to, let's say HTML. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another file called footer tpl and let's also override the type to html okay now instead of base instead of base i'm going to do something else i'm going to say this is going to be my header so i'm going to get uh go to header this is oops again this is going to be my header file only let's save this and for footer, this is going to be my footer part. Let's go to footer and put it here and save it. Okay, now I have footer and I have header, two sections. So what I want to do is inside staff, I don't want to use base anymore. I'm gonna say, okay, in this part that is above H1, include, percentage sign include, header dot tpl and I have an ex uh, I have also this title is equal to staff for this one obviously and down below everything else I want to include footer so footer dot tpl right so I'm going to include these two sections. Now I'm going to do this again with articles as well, but I'm going to comment this base out. And yes, I did it here as well. So now let's do it with footer as well and go down below. And this is going to be including footer. So I'm going to save them, save them and go back and nothing should change. And it does footer.tpl not found, okay. Maybe I made a mistake in spelling somewhere. Well, footer, uh, footer, let's see what happened. Footer.tpl, this is footer, do I save it? Go back and let's see what happens. Oh yeah, it's fine. Okay, so now we have this footer here and the header and nothing, well, yeah, I'll see the same as well. So apparently, yeah, the issue is that this should not be like separate, of course, because it's a function. 
Okay, now we have everything ready here. Perfect. So the only thing that remains is styling them. I am going to use my own CSS framework that I created. It's a classless CSS framework, so you just need to use semantic HTML tags, nothing else, no classes whatsoever. I'm going to put a link to it down below in the uh, um, description. So I'm just going to copy this CDN here and go back and put it inside, where is header? Inside the header, right there, right here. And that's it. Let's save this so it's right here. And it's going to be available, of course, for staff and for articles because they are using header. Now, when I go back and refresh, you see, wow, look at this styling. Isn't it cool? Everything is cool, styled. No classes, remember, just semantic HTML. And this one as well, look at this styling. Beautiful. Okay, so this is um something that we just created and i hoped i hope you liked it if you did please leave a like or a comment uh, or share it or subscribe thank you very much for watching and listening and see you in the next video